music is that I hear? Something to try and make you feel at home. <laughs> Monday, July the 18th. Uh, this week is a pretty interesting week. Still our slow season for sure, but we have Dr. Lynn Locatelli, who is a veterinarian uh, from New Mexico. She's a cattle handling specialist, and she'll be touring around to a whole bunch of our feedlots uh, this week. teaching some principles on low stress cattle handling. We bring Dr. Lynn up every single year and uh, and it's definitely a, a high point of the summertime. Okay, let's go Finn. Out for a quick poop with Phineas. Oh, and this happened. Poop on the fingers. <laughs> I don't know why dog poop is infinitely more disgusting than cow poop. It's like toxic waste. Okay, heading home for lunch. I did an insurance letter on a bull. That was from on Friday. I did a bunch of contractual stuff, human resources stuff, and consulting stuff this morning. Does not look like I will get into the field at all again today. Okay, off for lunch. So I have managed to get out in the field today. I have post-mortem to do a feedlot and then also an animal to look at that possibly has a lump jaw or a lock jaw. I wasn't exactly too sure on the history, but first this. Now, it looks like there's three, but I know one died on Saturday. I might be a little too rocked. Eighteen fourteen green lot eight zero eight blue float. 8774 orange autolyzed 1376 teal 733 orange free gas bloat. Siri did a good job. This one, I pulled out a couple different things for you guys. First one was the Abel Mason. So this is the Abel Mason or the last or fourth stomach. So this is the true glandular stomach. This is the inside of it. You can see how red it is. So this would be an abomasitis or an inflammation of the abomasum. Uh, likely secondary to either uh, clostridial overgrowth or a severe acidotic event. And then on top of that, this is his liver. It's very pale, which is usually the case when it comes to free gas bloat. They can seem quite pale. And then there's also a large liver abscess there and a whole bunch of smaller liver abscesses there. So a function of metabolic disturbance. Acidosis, breaking down of the rumen wall, seeding of bacteria, the liver is the first organ. The blood flows from the rumen towards the heart, goes through. It's Diana. Hi. Not yet. What? Oh no. Um well they'll have everything on file. I'm sure you won't get pulled over. Diana just called and said that 
She left her wallet in Rimby, so I might have a nice drive tonight. Labomycitis. Labomycitis is from the acidosis, building up of acid, inflammation, breaking down of the ruminal wall. Rumen seeds bacteria into the bloodstream. The liver is the first organ that blood get, goes to. The bacteria sits and makes a little abscess. The little abscess gets big. Animals can get sick from that. Uh, the animal was not at all symptomatic due to this liver abscess. Mortality was 100% attributable to the bloat, which can also be secondary to an acidosis. Make sense? Okay, one more animal to look at at hospital. Back in from the feedlot office, they said the animal was a breeding bull and it was a suspect lump jaw and they'd been treating over the weekend and he looks a lot better, so they didn't want me to look at him. Okay, got some safeguard mineral to drop off and that's it. Phineas, you got really, really dirty. Very disappointed in you. It's burning me. Safeguard drop. It's really important to lift with your back, not your knees. I found at Jim's house today. And I bark collar. Hi. How are you doing? How are you doing? Okay, that's it, Ed. My drop off. I don't think I have any other calls. Check in with Diana about the wallet situation. So I am on my way back to Red Deer to pick up Diana's wallet. Uh, it's about an hour and 20 minutes from here. Not bad. Poor girl. Oh, she's so stressed. Deer got the wallet back to Airdrie. Two episodes ago, I introduced the drone. So here's the deal. Reason one is this is the completely cliche thing for a vlogger to do is buy one of these. I mean, we spend a lot of time videoing stuff, so why not video stuff from air? And really, I also consider myself a vlogger at this point. I'm 102 episodes in. Uh, I think I've committed, dedicated feedback, amazing. So yeah, why not do the cliche thing? Reason number two 
is I just see so many amazing things that I want to see from different perspectives and I'm just obsessed with I guess like the the beauty of the surroundings of where I get to work as well so not only am I extremely fortunate that I get to be a cattle veterinarian I'm also extremely fortunate that I get to practice in such an amazing area and there's just so many things I want to see and show you guys from a different perspective so the story behind the drone is this, is I talked to Diana like any responsible husband would do before making a large purchase. Because uh, let's face it, this vlog venture has not been cheap on our family finances. Uh, the vlogging camera, the laptop, external hard drives, memory cards, tripods, external chargers, power cords. It's expensive. So, Diana said, absolutely, you can buy yourself a drone, but you need to make this list, this house list of things that you just never get done, like put on the screen door and clean the garage and fix the deck. Just hire somebody to fix the deck. That's all she was asking. So, I made the list. And instead of following the list like a good husband, I designed the Calvet t-shirt. Sold it online for a week, made enough money to buy a drone. So yeah, that's why I did the t-shirt thing, is to support my gear. So, she laughed and loved me, because that's a very Cody thing to do, is try to find some workaround that works better for him than it does for anybody else. So I bought the drone. Let me know how you guys like the footage. I personally am in love with it, and I'm trying to get good at now taking video while flying a electric death trap. On the weekend, I hit a tree. This thing's not gonna last a month. <laughs>